This is Sean Connery, and I'm going to teach you about the genetic basis of cancer. The cells in the body are normally in balance. They receive signals from the surroundings and from other cells, telling them how to behave. The signals bind to receptors. The receptors trigger proteins in the cell that control cell proliferation. Inside a cell, these proteins include tumor suppressors that tell the cell to calm down and oncogenes that tell it to multiply. Oncogenes are normally turned off, but can be activated by growth hormones binding to receptors. When everything is working, cell growth lets you grow from a child to an adult, from a single cell to an infant. It lets you repair injuries, fight infections. But when things go badly, The blueprint for our cells is DNA, made of billions of nucleotides. When DNA is replicated, mistakes are made. One nucleotide becomes another, and the protein it describes changes. Usually these changes are harmless. Very rarely, they can even be good and help a species evolve. But they can also cause great harm. A mutation in an oncogene can strengthen it and make it active without the usual pathway, shifting the balance in the cell to the oncogenes. To the same effect, a tumor suppressor can be broken by a mutation. Translocations in the genome can occur, which can put an oncogene under a strong promoter, or create a fused protein that's always activated. All of these changes will allow a group of cells to grow without control, creating a tumor that invades and overruns the rest of the body. The modern treatment of cancer focuses on targeting these proteins, the proteins that control cell growth. One of these, a receptor, Epidermal Growth Factor Receptor, or EGFR, can be targeted with an antibody, cetuximab, stopping it from signaling the cell to grow. Some breast cancers are driven by amplification of a receptor called HER2 which can be targeted by Herceptin, another antibody. If a cancer was caused by a fused protein, this protein can be targeted, such as is done with imatinib in CML. Understanding the driving force behind a cancer is the key to treating it. If a cancer is growing because of a mutation in an oncogene, then treating it with an EGF or inhibitor isn't going to help. Or if a breast cancer doesn't have amplified HER2, then Herceptin isn't going to do anything. Nowadays, we sequence the genome of the cancer to try to find what's driving it and how we can treat it. Some people carry mutations in cancer genes from birth, from their family. The BRCA gene in breast cancer is the most famous example. BRCA is a tumor suppressor that repairs damage to DNA. If it doesn't work quite right from a mutation, a person might be more likely to get cancer. So we sequence these genes in people with cancer and their families to try to determine their risk. Some mutations we've seen before, and we can tell these patients their risk for cancer. But sometimes, we'll find a new mutation we've never seen before. A variant of unknown significance, and in this case, it's anyone's guess. It's stressful for the patient, but the body can be unpredictable. And even if 90% of people with a certain mutation get cancer, 10% still don't.